y'all so 2019 is around the corner and there's going to be some big meta changes coming to mobile legends which we talked about in the best heroes video but we're going to be doing a worst heroes video so let's get this video to 500 likes to keep the series going and yeah let's jump right into it man so basically um in the comment section i want you all to write your list who do you think is going to be the top five worst heroes in 2019 because the meta is shifting a lot it's shifting away from what we've been used to and i think that it's going to be interesting to see what mobile legends actually looks like in 2019 because i think it's going to surprise a lot of people how different it looks like the pros are playing at a different level the the community is getting better in certain areas um it's like I don't know, everything seems to be changing. And, and then also, Moonton is starting to release a lot of great heroes, a lot of different heroes. And we've just been introduced a completely new thing in the game where there's like a grounded effect that literally changes everything that, that can change a lot it has a huge impact on how the game is played and it's like one of the first changes like that that's come out in a while because mobile legends they it's kind of been on repeat it's kind of been like okay release a new hero this new hero is powerful and stuff like that but no now they're releasing heroes the hero is powerful and there's new abilities being released that can go to basically any hero so um jumping right into it man Let, let's get into it the first person I have on my list for the worst, that's probably going to be one of the worst heroes of 2019, is Fanny. Now, I know right off the bat, that's going to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are going to definitely disagree with that. But the reason that I think Fanny is going to be one of the worst heroes in 2019 is because she's so powerful. She's so powerful and there's so much potential there. So when it comes down to Fanny, everyone focuses on Fanny. You got to think about the fact for the last three years in Mobile Legends, Fanny has been in the spotlight. Fanny has been the one hero that everyone's been complaining about. Everyone has been praising. Everyone's focus has been on Fanny for the longest. I don't think that that's what Mobile Legends wants the focus to continue to be on. They're starting to release a lot more flashy heroes. They're starting to release heroes with a lot more to offer. So I feel like Fanny is kind of like, they're going to kind of keep releasing heroes that probably counters Fanny a little bit more. Like this new grounded effect is supposed to be countering Fanny. It literally disables Fanny's cables. So um, yeah, I think that more we're going to see more heroes. Like like Mincidor, I think that he is literally just the first hero with this grounded effect. Because you have to look at the fact that when they were talking about this new hero, um, Mincidor, they, they made it they made it very clear in the patch notes that this new grounded effect was added. So they didn't just say this new hero with this effect was added. Like so that means that the fact they added an entirely new effect specifically with Min Mincidor, um, I think that that means that they're planning on adding that effect to other heroes as well. So I think we could potentially be seeing some old school heroes be revived because of that effect. But I also think that we're going to be seeing the most popular, one of the most popular heroes go down because of this effect and because of the fact that Mobile Legends is probably going to keep releasing things that's going to make Fanny and Fanny, Fanny more and more harder to use, which she's already been becoming in the current meta anyway. Fanny has been very difficult to use, like even the pros don't really use her um, competitively against each other at, in tournaments and events and stuff like that. So um, she's already been pretty difficult, but I think they're just adding in more heroes that's going to make her even more difficult and i can't foresee fanny being buffed <laughs> like really like Mo mobile legends has nerfed fanny so much and added in so many counters and stuff do you really think that they're going to get to buffing fanny of all heroes because a fanny problem is a, is a big problem for everybody because then you have to figure out how to actually stop fanny so we know what it's like to see fanny at her most powerful but I don't think we're going to see her there for a while. But let me know what you all think about that. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I just think she's had her shine. She's basically been one of the faces of Mobile Legends for so long. It's time for Mobile Legends to put somebody else in that spot in the forefront of the, of the yeah, the most powerful hero. So let me know what you all think about that. Uh, moving on, the next hero that I think is going to be one of the worst is Sun. Now, the reason I think he's going to be one of the worst is they've tried to rework him they've tried to make changes to him a lot throughout this time and every single time he turns out to just be bad and it's not that he's a terrible hero what well, he kind of is but at the same time there's just much better heroes there's much better picks there's heroes that just do way way more for the team and i think that that's one of the struggles with sun the way that he currently is now sun is a fighter 
I think the way Arena of Valor does it is way better than Mobile Legends. Now, um, Arena of Valor has made him a, um, a freaking assassin. He can go invisible, he can jump out and just gank you out of nowhere, and then he's so powerful. And I think that that would be a lot more effective. Uh, Sun makes a much more effective assassin than he makes a fighter. Because, I, I don't know, because of how the, char the hero or the character, or because of how he's designed the, the, the um, person, period, Basically, his skill set does not allow for him to be a crazy fighter within a meta or to have super insta insane sustainability in a meta. As far as an assassin, his skills works perfect for that. If, like if you look up the Monkey King and all of that, it, it, like it, he works good as an assassin, like his skill um, skill set, because it's only so much you can do with this hero. Because if you change the hero too much, you give him too much, it becomes disrespectful to the origin of the hero. So um, yeah, I don't think that I think that he's too limited as a fighter. So I think that that definitely needs to be changed, and that's the only way he'll be in the meta. But I also don't think that that's going to be a priority because obviously working on an old hero like Sun isn't really going to make Mobile Legends money. To be completely honest with you, so um, yeah, they they they're they're better off just adding in a new hero for people to buy. They then then people will want new skins and everything, and it's just more profitable if they don't focus in on Sun. So I don't think he's going to be focused in on at all. Um, moving on to the next hero though. I'm going to have to go with Zask. Now, Zask is another hero. He's not really old school. At this point, he's kind of old school. It's actually been a while since he's been released. And I think that what's going to kill um, Zask off is his lack of mobility. I think that he's very stationary and he plays like he's played defensively. Like, I think he plays too defensively for how the, um, the, the game is basically designed. Um, the, the game is high speed, um, high speed, constantly diving and stuff like that. And that's how a lot of characters are playing. And that's how they're adding more heroes in the game that can do this. So I don't think a hero that's this stationary is going to be able to survive in 2019, especially if they keep adding all these heroes with such high mobility. You're adding heroes with mobility and you're even adding, but, but also Mensador, I think that because he makes everyone stay in one spot he makes it so people can't dash out or nothing like that i think that a mincitor and zaz combo might actually work great like zaz hit his ultimate right in the middle of mincitor's ultimate and people it's not like people can just run away from it real fast or dash out of it or something so i think that 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 could actually be crazy so obviously all these heroes there's still some team comps that they would work well with but overall i think that zaz is just he just does not move quick enough doesn't move nearly quick enough to keep up with most team comps like even a team comp that's playing defensive you don't just play defensive and just stand there and try to tank damage the entire time like when you're playing defensive you still bag up you still have mobility you just move as a team you rotate and, and you just evade people as a team Zaz, I don't feel like I feel like he has to be stationary in order to get the full value out of him. And somebody that has to be that stationary doesn't feel like they fit in Mobile Legends how that how he is currently. So that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, but moving on to the next one here, we have Mia. Now Mia, when I think of Mia, I like to compare her to Moskov. Now she can go invisible, and that's cool. But she can still be killed while she while she's invisible. And I think that. Like, why wouldn't you use Moskov over Mia? That, that's basically what my, my head is at. Because Moskov, he can basically hit through groups of people and he can constantly dish out a bunch of damage. Um, he has an evade. He can literally um, step back every few seconds. And I feel like that's big as well. Then he has that stun. Anybody gets too close, he can stun them, knock them into a wall, and then he just, he's, he's got them. And his, his global ultimate, of course, he can get some shots on people like around the map. I feel like in comparison, yeah, and then he, he attacks very fast too, similar to Mia. Mia probably has him on attack speed. Mia will probably overall be able to attack faster. But I feel like when it comes down to all these heroes with high speed, being able to dive you out of nowhere and stuff, I feel like it's probably a lot safer to play Moskov. And I don't think that Mia is going to get more uh, enough play um, come, come 2019, honestly. I think they're just going to keep adding heroes that's faster and better and stronger. And Mia is just really going to keep falling farther and farther behind. But let me know what you all think of that, man. I, I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that one. Do you think that Mia is um, going to become obs obsolete? Because I think they're adding heroes like Claude. They're adding heroes like Kimmy. Like, you, you have all this mobility being added even into the marksmen. So I feel like these marksmen that kind of move slow and kind of just, like, can only go invisible. Like, that's really, like, one of your only 
your biggest skill sets and then getting a little bit more attack speed i don't feel like that's worth it in comparison to some of the other heroes so let me know what you all think about um that in the comment section below last but not least i feel like one of the worst heroes is going to be freya now freya is definitely like that's a, that's probably a shocking one because she does have a lot of meta meta quality she has stuns um she can slow you stun you um she she's basically pretty powerful as well but at the same time the thing that i'm considering is does she have enough mobility they're adding in heroes that can literally hook people pull people over like basically mince it or they're adding like look at the fighters and stuff that they're adding look at the off tanks that they're adding to the game chow has a lot of mobility even though he's been in the game jawhead he has a lot of mobility um basically like i said everything is moving fast paced and i feel like freya yeah she can jump she can jump at you and dive at you and stuff but I don't think that she's fast enough for, for the pace I feel like Mobile Legends is moving in. Like, look at Kimmy. L look at Kimmy. I think this says a lot about the, the direction Mobile Legends is heading. Kimmy is a hero designed where she does not have to go back to the base. That's a marksman that doesn't have to go back to the, pay to, to the base, which means she's going to pick up the pace a lot faster. She's going to be able to farm a lot faster since she doesn't have the base to get mana or anything and yeah she's gonna um she's gonna be a lot faster and then you have claude who also farms pretty fast as well so even the marksmen are becoming faster and faster and faster and i think that i think that honestly even though she she's a bit faster than like a um a alucard for instance i think she's little she's a little bit slow compared to the direction that mobile legends is moving in but that's pretty much it man that was the last hero on my list um let me know what you all think about this list let me know if you agree let me know if you disagree definitely would love to see the conversation about this in the comment section down below i think these heroes are pretty much just different from any one that i've done yet um and honestly what's crazy is like the heroes like franco zylong and stuff i can see them being changed and, and see because all you have to do is add that grounded effect on some of these old heroes and they're back in the meta so um, I don't think that a change like that would be coming to a hero like Freya, which is why I think that she she would be on this list even above some of those guys. But let me know what you all think. Um, 2019 is going to be an interesting year, I feel like. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a, a lot of changes, a lot of things that's unexpected. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Um, make sure you drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, yo. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family. They'll never need hope or want it A break just something that